Well, a very good evening and welcome to this service of uh, carols, six carols at six. Um, very strange times that we find ourselves in this year. Uh, uh, as we would normally be together with our community choir and the church full of people singing God's praises at this most holy time. But it's wonderful to have you with us online this evening and hopefully able to join in with the songs as you as you would if you were here. Sing up, praise God, do whatever you need to do wherever you are, but more than anything just come and worship the Christ child. Such a wonderful story that we are celebrating this evening as we will be uh, all over this Christmas that Emmanuel, God with us, came to earth. And so it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this service. Uh, thank you to Andrew Phillips and to the team for all that they've done to put this service together uh, for us all on, the, on this wonderful Christmas. Christmas is not cancelled. Remember in his name the poor and helpless, 
the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick, and them that mourn, the lonely, and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have breathed his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us but on another shore, and in the greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the world made flesh, and with whom, in the Lord Jesus, we are one for evermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, beginning at verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders. And he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow you continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and for evermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
sends on the deity nigh Prayer and praising gladly raising Worship him God most high O oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading still proceeding Guide us to thy perfect light Mary's mine, its bitter perfume Breathes a life of gathering gloom Sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying Sealed in the stone-cold tomb O oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading, still proceeding Guide us to thy perfect light Glorious now, behold him arise King and God has sacrificed Alleluia, Alleluia Earth to heaven replies O oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading still Proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Our sixth and final reading. John 1, verses 1 to 14. A translation from the Living Bible. Before anything else existed, there was Christ with God. He has always been alive and is himself God. He created everything there is. Nothing exists that he didn't make. Eternal life is in him and this life gives light to all mankind. His life is the light that shines through the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent John the Baptist as a witness to the fact that Jesus Christ is the true light. John himself was not the light. He was only a witness to identify it. Later on, the one who is the true light arrived to shine on everyone coming into the world. But that although he made the world, the world didn't recognise him when he came. Even in his own land and among his own people, the Jews, he was just not accepted. Only a few would welcome and receive him. But to all who received him, he gave the right to become children of God. All they needed to do was to trust him to save them. All those who believe this are reborn, not of a physical rebirth resulting from human passion or plan, but from the will of God. And Christ became a human being and lived here on earth, among us, and was full of loving forgiveness and truth. And some of us have seen his glory, the glory of the only Son of the Heavenly Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Christ.
that we've just sang, O Come All Ye Faithful. So thank you for coming and being with us this evening. It's been a delight to uh, sing together and to praise God in the Holy of Holies. And if you want to sing that fourth verse, then you'll have to join us online again on Christmas morning, where we will be singing, Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Just before I offer you God's blessing now as we go out this evening, can I just thank again Andrew, our Director of Music, and our singers, for Becky, for our choir. It just made this such a lovely evening for all our readers. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And hopefully we'll see you on Christmas Eve uh, or for some of our other services that are going to be coming up, uh, uh, which you can find on our website. And uh, it would be just lovely to make this a really worshipful online Christmas. One that we just never expected. But God is good and Christmas is definitely not cancelled. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you 